Hey guys, Crazy Dale is back with another video. Holy cow, you guys. Wave 6 of NASCAR Authentics from Warner Racing just got leaked. And holy cow, man. Yesterday, um, I made a video about Wave 5 getting leaked. And now, one day later, we get another wave. Um, and let me tell you guys, this wave... Oh my god, this is like... The best wave I've ever seen for NASCAR Venix ever. Like, ever. And of course, Luna Racing had to spoil it with the stupid, gosh darn crappy PTC mold. Oh my god, Loyal, you are getting me off the hook right now. If I'm OBB, the diecast news guy, I would just start swearing and swearing, which he does, but. I don't know. If I was Diecast Buffet, I'd be like, bruh. Because Diecast Buffet doesn't swear, but he's probably going to get frustrated as well. I'm sure I'm sure nobody asked for this. I think Lone Racing just wants to screw with us. But let's go ahead and look at all the cars. There are actually not that many cars. There are actually, I think, actually, guys, I think there's no cars in here that I have. So that's awesome. I get to uh, get two of each one. Let's go ahead and see. Which cars we have. And yes, you guys, there is a liquid color. Alright guys, so the first car we have is Ryan Blaney's 2022 Advanced Auto Parts Paint Scheme. I'm going to be honest with you guys, this car is ugly. I, I'm going to say that right now. I know the black is cool, but like last year's paint scheme, I, I, I don't know. I just don't like the Advanced Auto Parts black version car. I like the red one. I like the red and like mustard yellowish color from last year. Um, and to be honest, I really do miss Ryan Blaney winning. Um, and Martin Truex. I mean, like they were Truex dominated 2021 most of the time. Kyle Larson dominated it all, actually. And then Ryan Blaney was pretty good in 2020. He got quite a few wins. But uh, Ryan Blaney's really struggling right now for NASCAR. Uh, but I'm just glad that uh, Lorna Racing is still supporting him as much. Because, um, yeah, this car is okay. I'm still going to get two of them just to review it. But look at that yellow paint. I mean, like... I understand these things are five bucks, but like, are you kidding me? First, a PTC mold is already bad enough, and now you just give me this crappy looking yellow paint just dripping. That tells that tells you guys, you guys already, I do not want to pick that die cast up. Obviously, I'm going to get both because I don't have a Ryan Blaney car, or I don't have um, this car. And I only have one Ryan Blaney paint scheme right now, and I don't feel like going off Amazon or eBay for 30 bucks for this paint scheme to get. Literally just wait a couple weeks for it for it to be in stores and buy it for five bucks. So yeah. Um really disappointing for a start, but it's gonna turn upside down within the next couple cars. Trust me guys. Yeah, folks, this has already turned upside down. This makes the wave already a hundred times better than it than what it looked like. Ricky Stiles Jr.'s 2022 Kroger slash Irish Spring. I knew it. I freaking knew that they were gonna put this car in this wave. Don't ask me how I knew that they were gonna put a Senhouse car in Wave Six. I just ever since when Wave Three got leaked, I was like, hmm. I really, honestly, kind of. Wish for a Stenhouse car. Why do I feel like it's going to be in Wave 6? Well, usually Wave 6 for NASCAR Athletics always has rookie drivers. Wave 6 or Wave 4. One, Both of those waves, usually for NASCAR Athletics, is where all the rookie cars are. And 2020 Wave 6 um, had the Ty Dillon Geico paint scheme. That was pretty uh, popular slash rare. Um, last year we got um, Kurt Busch 
for wave six and um um crap who was it Bubba Wallace Ross Chastain um Eric Jones you know or not Eric Jones I was wave seven um but you know what I guys you know what I mean you guys and then for 2021 wave four we got a um a Michael Annette and a um a rookie card that was the um um, Chase Briscoe car. And then this, and then today, and then, or excuse me, 2022 Wave 4 had the Harrison Burton and the Cole Custer and the Austin Center, the Brett Kozlowski, you know, those kind of drivers. And now this wave so far has the Ricky Styles. So I feel like this car is not actually going to be the best wave that I've seen in my entire life, but definitely the best for 2022 and 2021. Like, combined like this is this wave is better than all the ways from 2021 and so far for 2022 and probably maybe maybe 2020 oh yeah this already makes the wave 100 times better than it looks like not only 100 times but now 200 times better than what it looked like harrison burton's 2022 dex imaging i have been waiting for this car this is actually an exclusive paint scheme and i already see a paint chip right there good job lawyer racing but this is an exclusive you guys i know that there's a dex imaging car for harrison burton but that's the motocraft slash dex imaging um and this car is an exclusive obviously i just said that but really unexpected to see um this car in the wave so yeah Sorry, guys, I was talking, drinking chocolate milk. Um, really, really cool car. Gotta be honest. Um, I will rank all of these cars at the end, like I did in Wave 5. But, uh, yeah. Alright, guys, next car. Yeah, baby this is a car i've been waiting for a long time this is kyle larson's 2022 valvoline they finally put in a kyle larson valvoline paint scheme in for the nascar Authentics waves um this is actually i'm gonna you guys are gonna be really shocked at this but this right now um isn't it is an exclusive um um they actually lona racing actually had this car for the 164th scale um, canceled for like the first half of the season, NASCAR season. But then they decided, you know what? Screw it. There's only there's only a couple of Kyle Larson paint schemes. I'm like last year there was like ten, and he like won ten times for 2021 season. So they were like, you know what? Screw it. I actually don't know if this is true or not, but they brought it back in the Gold Series, and then a couple months ago. Um, eBay sellers have been starting to like sell them and, um, trust me guys, this paint scheme is not cheap on eBay and Amazon actually canceled it as well, by the way guys. So if you're trying to find this paint scheme off Amazon, it's not going to be there because they either they canceled it, like it's not on there yet. It's either not on there yet or they canceled it for Amazon. Um, and then water racing. I think it was a couple weeks ago. Um, it, the car got sold out like 10 times this year when it came back. So like very popular paint scheme. So I think they canceled it again. Now they brought in the NASCAR the next waves. I think that was really smart by Woya now that they brought this car in for Kyle Larson. Because, you know, first time seeing Valvoline for Kyle Larson and the yeah, waves. But really stupid that they put in the PTC mold. And I'm going to be honest right here right now, you guys. The PTC mode actually isn't that bad this year. It was, It's a lot better this year than last year. But the packaging, like the cardboard packaging and stuff is like super crappy. Like the plastic, you know how there's a car that's not just in there, right? You see the plastic right there that's covering over that car, the clear plastic. That is super weak. So if you drop a car... Like, my mom dropped a 2022 A4 car that she found. 
Or she didn't drop it. Some stupid Karen lady, like, bumped it. Bumped the shelf and knocked down the car all the way down the floor. It, like, exploded. Um, true story. Uh, stupid person. So I'm still really upset because that was an exclusive car from Way 4. Um, and no, it was not the Harrison Burton car, thank goodness. Or not anybody that I really like as an escort. It was a Brad Keselowski car. But, uh, yeah, really cool car. Let's go ahead and see who we have next. Sorry, folks, I'm eating. Holy cow, folks. Three waves in a row, you guys. Three waves in a row. We've gotten an Austin Sarek paint scheme slash a rookie die cast. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, folks. <laughs> Alright, I'm good now. This is Austin Cinex 2022 Escadadia. I think is how you pronounce it. <clears throat> a Acascadia. A Acasadia. A Acasadia. Okay, that's how you pronounce it. Um a Casadia slash frontliner car. Um, wow, this is a really weird car, but really freaking cool at the same time. The weird part is that how awesome slash weird is it to have three awesome cinematic rookie paint schemes in a row for NASCAR Thanks Waves. That's never happened. I don't think ever. Since like. 2016 or 2015 when Lionel Racing started making NASCAR diecast waves. Not online, just the waves. Long time. Um, let's hope that we got another Austin Center in the in um, wave 7. Sadly, I do doubt it because there's not a ton of paint against for Austin Center, but they, there still is the, the, the uh, Menards um, Austin Center paint scheme as well, though. So maybe... But um, holy cow, folks, what an amazing car. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, get to the next one, because this was already awesome. Alrighty, folks, I have complete doubts on this one, you guys. This is Eric Jones, 2022 U.S. Air Force. I am not going to be going through this car that much, but let me just say this right here, right now. This car is really, really nice. i got to be honest. Um, this is a really cool car. Um, I'm glad they put in the waves. I'm just mm, that stupid, dumb PTC mode, you guys. Just always gets on my nerves. Um, I already have this car, so I won't go through it too much because I already made a diecast review of this car. So if you guys want to see more of this car, just go ahead and watch my unboxing where I unbox this car. It's, it was only a couple weeks ago while I'm making this video. So yeah. Not a bad car, just kind of a boring good car. Kind of like, you know that feeling where you feel like, oh, this car is boring even though it's cool, you know. I have that feeling sometimes, too, just like how I felt with the Kyle Larson car or the Harrison Burton Dex Imaging car from this wave. <laughs> Next car, folks. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah, man. 
We got Chase Elliott's 2022 Kelly Blue Book. Holy crap, you guys. You want to talk about an amazing diecast? Look at this one. I can already tell that Lionel Racing screwed up big on this diecast, sadly. Of course it didn't. It's Lionel Racing. What do you expect, you guys? But thank God. Thank God. Freaking God, I got this car already in the Gold Series because this car is really, really nice. I'm going to be honest. But so ugly for this picture. I mean, look how ugly this paint scheme is. I mean, I like the colors and the paint scheme at all a lot. The only reason why I'm saying this, even though it's my favorite driver still, Bono Racing screwed up on this paint scheme. Once again, I get it that they're five bucks, but like, Make them more realistic, Lorna. Like, Jesus. I already have this car as well, so I will only be getting one car of the Chase Elliott and the, um... <laughs> and obviously the Eric Jones. Aw, oh, crap. You guys saw. <laughs> you guys die cast of the wave die cast of the year ty dylan's 2022 gain slash food city what you're looking at right now folks on camera is the most beautiful die cast i have seen so far this year um, I know I have the Kaz Growler. The Kaz Growler is really cool too, but I actually dig the Sky Cast a little bit more than the Kaz Growler. Only for three reasons. I know usually it's all the time three, but seriously, I mean, honest folks, three. One, look how beautiful this orange and lime green looks together. It's just, looks like a car wash. Two, look at the realistic bubbles. I mean, like, that's awesome. And look at the shadow of the 42, you guys. Like, look at that. There's a shadow. Look at that, 42. Holy cow, you guys. I gotta be honest. This car is just so amazing. Look at the details and stuff, you guys. Um, and then number three, I actually don't have three. I was just joking. But this car is super colorful and full of surprises and just like, Makes your day super happy when you see like a die cast like this where it looks so happy. So, yeah, next car. All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest, you guys. I am not a huge fan of this die cast, but I still dig it a lot as well. Just not as much the Ty Dillon or the Chase Elliott or the um, Sten House and whatever. And you know, here's Merton. Daniel Swears is 2022 Tootsies um, car. You guys know Tootsie Rolls are like the chocolate candies. Well, this is the paint scheme for it. I know it's pink or like a purple pinkish color. Um, I don't mind this die cast at all. It's good. Die it's a really nice and looking die good looking die cast. I just I'm not a huge fan with the purple, but you know it's still really cool. Um, sadly, you guys, we do not have the look of color picture. For the Daniel Suarez, Lionel Racing doesn't even have it. Um, sadly, so uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. But obviously, yes, the Daniel Suarez Tootsie's paint scheme car is the uh, liquid color. Really nice car. Um, that's just about going to be it, you guys. Let's go ahead and rank the cars. We'll st go ahead and start with um, Ryan Blaney. I'm just, I'm just going to go through these like right away. No troubles needed. Ryan Blaney car. I like the paint scheme. Lionel Racing screwed up with the yellow paint. I'm not a huge fan of the paint scheme. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. The only reason why not a 7 is because of that paint mark right there. All right, guys. Next car. Ricky Stiles Jr.'s car. Iris Ray slash Kroger. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Only reason why not a 9 is because of the paid TC molds. So every single car actually gets knocked down one number because of the PTC mold. So like, for example, if Eric Jones' car was a 10, it would be a 9, you know. 
So nobody's nobody's car would be a 10 in today's video, sadly. Thanks to the PTC ball, you guys. Clap for the PTC ball. All right, guys, next car. Oh, yeah, folks. Harrison Burns 2022 Dex Imaging. I would have gave this one a 10 out of 10, but now I have to do a 9 because of the PTC mold. Ugh, Lord of Racing really knows how to screw up, doesn't, don't they? Really nice car, though. Holy cow. Gotta be honest. Um, let's go ahead and um, go to the next car. <laughs> Next up, we got Kyle Larson 2022 Valvoline. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Um, no mistakes. I'm not a humongous fan of this paint scheme. The only reason why it's kind of low is because it's not like a very, very popular one. But it's a pretty good car for it being in this way. Only because of the PTC mold. That's why it's so low. It's <laughs> All right, guys, Austin Stenrix 2022, a, a Casadilla slash Frontliner paint scheme. I'm going to give this one a 8 out of 10. Um, really nice looking paint scheme, just really odd that they put in another Austin Stenrix and another Harrison Burton right away. I like it, but at the same time, it's making this, like, really, really intense. Like, I mean, I like rookie cars a lot, like, Quite a lot, you know. And I also am really digging this uh, blue, light blue spoiler. That looks really cool as well. But yeah, not much about this car. Just really nice. Like the light blue and the black together. Makes it kind of like neon color-ish. Or something like glow in the dark or something. But yeah, next car, folks. A solid Alright, guys. Eric Jones, 2022 U.S. Air Force. I'm not a humongous fan of this paint scheme. A little bit lower than, um, or excuse me, not lower. A little bit higher than Ryan Blaney's. I'm going to give this one a 6.5 out of 10. Only reason why 0.5 for a decimal is because the PTC mold really knocked it down, obviously. But, like, it's a cool car, obviously, but, like, Ryan Blaney's car was definitely a lot worse, in my opinion, than Eric Jones. And I didn't think Eric Jones got a 7, because 7's pretty good. And it's not a really good car, so that's why I kind of went 6.5. So, yeah. <laughs> Next up, we got Chase Light's 2022 Kelly Blue Book. Oof, this one is a really nice die cast, but the PTC mold already knocks it down of 1 point. So now it's down to a 9 out of 10. Plus, with all... The mistakes and all the paint chips throw. Like, there's a paint chip right over here. I see another one in the front. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. It's really small, but it's like... Uh, it's right there. Whoops. It's like right above the Goodyear logo. You can kind of see a couple white paint chips here and there. And then plus with all the mistakes Lionel did, like, look at this. Like, boom. Look at that mistake. Look at that. Mistake. And then look at that. Mistake. And then another mistake. Oh my god, you guys. I'm sorry for all those Chase Elliott fans. And I'm actually a Chase Elliott fan myself. But this one's a 5 out of 10. I am sorry to all those Chase Elliott fans. But man, I mean, I just cannot stand that uh, all those uh, mistakes that were on there. Yeah. Alright guys, next up we got Ty Dillon's 2022 Gain slash Food City car. I'm gonna be honest you guys. Um ugh, I really really hate to do this, but I'm going to lie about things being not being 10 out of 10. This car is a 10 out of 10. Hands down, no question. This is a rocket car. I know that it's Ty Dillon, like, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I mean, Noah Gregson's going to this car next year. And think about it. He won, like, 10 races. Oh, I think over 10 races this this uh, year for Xfinity Series. 
Sadly, did not win the championship, but he honestly probably should have if it wasn't for his stupid dumb pit crew. But this is an amazing car. Um, 10 out of 10 for, um, I know it's the PTC mold, you guys, but like, I mean, just look at this thing. This thing just kept, like, I'm thinking about this car right now, even, even trying, like, I'm thinking about this car while I'm ranking other cars, and it's just, it's just making me frustrated, but at the same time, like, yeah, this is an amazing car. Really nice car, you guys. Um, definitely want to uh, have that this car to catch you guys' eyes because these are amazing. And I, and I know that you guys are probably not interested in these cars. You guys just subscribe because I'm a nice guy and stuff. But I just do these for fun and ranking my videos and stuff. But I also um, catched one more thing in the core of my eye just like a moment ago. There is bubbles in the background. Bubbles on the background, like holy crap, Lono, you did really good on this diecast. Let's go and look at Daniel Suarez's 2022 Tootsie's car and rank that one. All right, guys, once again, Daniel Suarez's 2022 Tootsie's car. I'm gonna give this one a solid eight out of ten. Not a bad car, but not the best car. Uh, definitely not a horrible car. I like the purple. I'm just not a big fan of it. The PTC mold knocks it down one point, and there's not a lot of color. Gonna, I'm gonna be honest for this paint scheme. Um, I get it. That's really a cool car and really expensive last year for the 2021 paint scheme, but I feel like this year it's not even gonna be that popular. Probably 14, 15 bucks average for now for diecast off eBay for next gens for um, the gold series. Um, if you guys wanna find um actual good looking paint schemes go to the gold series mode you guys because the gold series mode is the best um brand for nascar authentics and that's where most like unpopular drivers are um um and stay away from the ptc mode if you really guys want these cars for five bucks even though they're trash obviously i'm still gonna get them because you know they're really cool but just to warn you guys, this is a PDC mold, so if you're mad, um, don't get mad, like, right away. Like, you don't even notice. Um, you're like, hey, wait a minute, why is this black? I thought it was white, you know? Like, for the netting and stuff. And by the way, folks, the netting definitely has changed. I mean, like, look at that. that thing is ugly. Um, yeah, um, the other reason why it knocked off a point is because there's not that much color. But, uh, yeah. That's about it, you guys. There's no look of color, sadly. Or, um, there's... Excuse me. Um, you guys, there is a look of color, but there's no picture for it is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, make sure I subscribe to the Crazy Dallas family. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Crazy Dallas signing in and out.